This is your first look at SOLIDWORKS simulation. With rescue equipment like this, performance is everything. The product must work reliably every time. SOLIDWORKS contains a powerful set of tools we can use to test out the performance of a design in many different ways. Two key areas that concern most designers are function and strength. Let's look at how SOLIDWORKS Motion and SOLIDWORKS Simulation tools can help us evaluate these goals. We've seen how we can assemble our design in SOLIDWORKS, but how do we know it's going to function correctly? It's invaluable to be able to validate the spreader operation without the need to cut metal or build prototypes, like in the case of this sketch layout concept. With SOLIDWORKS Motion, we can easily test our design during the early stages of development to aid in sizing parts, bearings, motors, and actuators to ensure they meet our design goals. As we go through and refine our design, we can continue to use motion to validate the function. Here we have a test fixture to determine the piston force required at different jaw openings to meet a minimum spreader force requirement. In SOLIDWORKS Motion, we need only apply an actuator to drive the piston through its range of movement the desired spreader force on both blocks, and finally specify that the tips of the jaws and the blocks will contact. An accurate physics engine then calculates the resulting motion, forces, velocities, and accelerations. We can look at a wealth of engineering data, such as the bearing loads on the pins, how quickly parts are traveling, and so on. With the built-in plotting tool, we can quickly show the required piston force with respect to the open position. We're even able to check the strength of selected parts in the mechanism over the entire range of motion. This can really help in determining if we need to use SOLIDWORKS simulation for a more in-depth analysis to ensure that part strengths meet our goals. Let's now focus in more detail on the structural aspects of our design with SOLIDWORKS simulation. If we're concerned about parts failing, deflecting too much, or reducing weight, this is the tool for the job. 